Morning everyone, Bob here, Overland Citrus. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everybody's safe and hunkered down and doing the social distancing thing. Uh, seems to be helping across America. And I notice all of my Overland friends and Jeep friends, van life friends, uh, everybody's safe, hunkered down somewhere. A lot of people open their homes up or their yards or their properties for them to camp at. And that's a wonderful thing going on through the Overland and camping community. Today we're going to do a little project, we're just trying to get things done on the Jeep. We're going to install two new steering stabilizers. We're going to be using the Fox 2.0 series. I have them in my JK right now, uh, but we had a little problem where one of them was rubbing on the suspension, uh, was actually um, rubbing on the crossbar, on the tie rod bar. Uh, someone had done an alignment for me and they didn't put the clamps in the right spot I didn't notice it and they rubbed I'll show you what the damage is later so we're just gonna take them off and put two brand new ones on uh, so stay tuned and we'll get to it Okay, so this is what comes in the box. Uh, pretty basic. Open the box, they come in a plastic bag, as you can see, and they're really, really nice. These are really nice quality. Um, they're big, they're tough, they look great, and it should make a difference. I think mine are a little old and a little beat up there. Uh, not that the Jeep's old, but they're, uh, well, they're maybe about three years old on there, so it's time to put some new ones on. So we're underneath the JK here, and uh, getting the tools and getting everything ready to go. Like I said, pretty easy job. Uh, so I'm going to swing this camera around and show you the damage of the uh, one that's on there. And uh, then we'll get right to it. Okay. Hope that you can see all this. This is where it's damaged. Uh, let me see if I can get a, get up over there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it doesn't look like I can get in there. But I'm hoping you can see that. There we go. There's the damage. And what it was doing was these clamps on the tie rod bar were spun up when they done the alignment. The alignment was never right. I actually have an alignment kit uh, for straight axle type vehicles. Uh, and uh, me and uh, Uncle Tommy, uh, we aligned it about a week ago. We took everything off, got it all straightened out, and she's running down the road beautiful. Uh, but we're going to take these two off and put some new ones on. Okay, we got the old ones out. As you can see, they're pretty beat up, pretty scraped up. And again, like I said, it was because someone did an alignment. I had someone do an alignment, and I didn't pay attention to the tie rod bolts and brackets for the adjustment, and they were rubbing the first time I took it off road. And then I noticed it, and uh, I made the adjustments myself. So now I just do my own front end alignments. I have a nice little kit that I bought. Um, and that's how we do it okay everyone we got them in it's a little bit of a job we had a bolt that was welded rusted solid and welded from the rust right to the bolt so the sleeve from the stabilizer was stuck so we had to pull off the stabilizer bracket from the axle take everything apart bring it in the garage and uh, free it up and then put it all back together but we got it done there's nothing you can't do if you stay with it so again, I just want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the button and subscribe. If you hit the little bell, you'll see all my new videos. And as I always say, wheel safe and camp safe. And have a great day.